What's up guys, it's your boy Slim the Streamer back with a new video. Smash that like button and subscribe button. So today guys, I want to show you how to uh, turn on developer mode on your MetaQuest 3 headset, okay? Um, this also works for MetaQuest 3S and pretty much, uh, I believe, MetaQuest 2 if you're still rocking a MetaQuest 2. Um, the reason why you want to cut on the developer mode in the first place, just in case you're asking, well, why do I want to turn that on? What's the, I'm not a developer. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what you want to do is you can, once you get developer mode turned on, you can then access what is called side quest. Now, side quest is what you can have on your standalone MetaQuest headset. Games, VR games, such as like Doom 3, the full game of Doom 3. Uh, you can also have Mario, Super Mario in VR. Um, just a ton of games that you will not find. Here it is, Doom 3 right here. A, ton of, a bunch of games that you will not find on your actual standalone headset you can actually have in VR. Um, you, uh, side quests is a, just a cool cool thing to have on your MetaQuest headset standalone. You don't need a computer. Uh, well, you need a computer to actually get it kind of working, to get the app, you know, to get this whole thing set up. Maybe you could do this on your phone. I don't know. I mean, you probably can just do the same thing you're doing, you're about to watch here, but you pretty much don't need a PC at all. I'm pretty sure you could do this on your cell phone, right? So, um, but we're not going to be actually installing SideQuest today. Today is just learning how to set up developer mode because you will need developer mode first in order to get SideQuest. We'll do SideQuest in another video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do a SideQuest video, how to set up and install SideQuest so you can get awesome games such as Doom Doom uh, 3 and VR with full motion controls, um, Super Mario, and all the other stuff. Okay, let me know in the comments, and I'll do a video for you, I promise. All right, so today, we're just going to be doing site of develop, turning on developer mode, okay? So let me show you how to do this step-by-step. Step. So what you want to do, um, uh, you want to once you want to first log into your uh, MetaQuest, I mean, your uh, Meta Horizon web, uh, website, right? You want to make sure you're logged in. Um, I'm already logged in. There go me, me, yeah. All right. So what you want to do is go to My Apps. Once you get through My Apps, uh, you then want to uh, do what's called uh, uh, do a two-way, either do a two-way verification or use your credit card. Now, guys, if you got to use your credit card and the two-way developer don't work, this is 100% safe. This is meta making sure you're not a robot okay so once you either do your two-way setup or you add your your your, your credit card in we can go to the <clears throat> we can go to the next step okay but this is 100 percent safe you just gotta meta just want to make sure you're not an actual bot pretty much all right guys now once you set up everything uh oh okay so first thing uh once you do that guys you then want to go to uh, where it says uh, uh, your name up here. Once you go to new, your name, your name, you want to go to create organization. Once you get to create organization, you want to type in a name that you can recognize, that you can, uh, pretty much a name that you know nobody else will use, right? So you got to just create a name, right? All right, so once you created that name, you want to go to I understand, you want to go to submit, you want to go to I agree, submit. Okay, now we're heading to the next step. Guys, so once you get into this part, what you want to do once you set up the computer part or if you do it on your actual phone, that is fine. Second thing what you want to do is you want to actually turn on developer mode or you want to make sure <clears throat> you first want to make sure your meta headset is connected and turned on okay you got to make sure your headset is completely uh connected to your phone once it's completely connected to your phone otherwise it won't work once it's completely connected to your phone what you want to do is all right you guys can see First thing you want to do 
you want to once it's connected and you know it's connected when all of these bars are are on right so all of the bars are on and it's connected make sure you're connected to the same wi-fi as well so what you want to do put it up so you guys can see you want to scroll down you want to go to where it says uh manage headset or headset management you want to click that you want to go here where it says developer mode turn that and you want to turn it on mine is already on but all you want to do is flip that switch and turn it on and once you turn it on she is off you just want to turn it on like that once your developer mode is turned on you are good to go okay your developer mode is on everything's gone Everything everything is on and you're good to go. And that's how you turn on developer mode with the meta quest. I'll catch you guys later. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do the other video for the side quest and I'll do it. Okay. Peace.